Four teams fought for two spots at the Class B State Softball Tournament. Beulah bringing their bats against West Hope Newburgh Botano. Valuable breathing room coming for the Miners. Brooklyn Keller shoots one through first and second to bring home Avery Backus. Another batter standing in and tattooing this to center field. And Kennedy Shook would come in on that play. More from the Miners. Base hit up the middle scores two. Ava Seibel with the RBIs. Beulah defeats the Sioux 12 to two. Wilton Wing and Velva trying to claim their state spot. Miners wasting no time getting after the Aggies star pitcher Olivia Pesa. Taryn Scherhammer with a three run bomb in the top of the first. Pesa paints the corner here for a strikeout looking. But there's a Wilton Wing runner on third, and she comes home after a wild pitch. It's Kiara Johnson. Peso would get out of the inning moments later with a swinging strikeout this time, but the Miners outlast the Aggies 7-6. to six. It's time for another season of Sabre Dogs baseball, and this year's lineup will feature local players as well as some coming from as far as California, Oklahoma, and Pennsylvania. Assistant coach Ben Schweinfurth says the team has big goals for the summer while running operations like a college program. I mean, there is the guys that just want to have fun, but for the most part, it's guys that want to get better, kind of get their reps in, um, innings on the mound, that bats the plate, just kind of get better. One of our goals is to kind of get, send guys back better than they came in. That's now it's time for Pro's Pointer with Johnny Candle. Post-spawn walleyes means fishing the flats. One of the most overlooked ways to cover these flats is long line trolling. And I'm not talking crankbaits here, but jigs. Now you're gonna wanna be up in the front of your boat using your bow mount electric motor. This is not a flats fishing tip. What caught my ear when listening to tips for this season's Pro's Pointers was the fact that I mentioned being tied to the bow of your boat in order to drive your electric trolling motor. Now we all know that is no longer the case. No matter where you are in your boat, you can simply use your handheld remote control. If you're anywhere near one of your depth finders, you can steer right through the head of your sonar unit. And if either of those don't work, you can simply use your smartphone to get you from point A to point B. It's simply amazing to me how technology has advanced in the last two decades, and who knows where it's gonna go from here. I'm Johnny Candle, and that's this week's Pro's Pointer. Next week, Johnny covers a now common boat control technique. That's all we have in sports. We'll be right back.